Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI of Scotland, where we're recruiting a lot of great people. It's feeling good. Oh, yeah, we would like to get Albert Einstein, so we're going to try to focus on that. We got a university in Andre, so we're going to go ahead and focus the city on science. It's only four extra science, but four extra science is a decent amount. And our main objective now in this game is to try to crank it uh, to the maximum and get to a really high level. Uh, this city is going to be really good at producing traders. So I will go ahead and stop producing traders in this other city because it has no more infrastructure it can build. So this city can totally focus on making traders. It can totally focus on doing projects, even building military units for me, particularly for this war with Mali. In fact, maybe that should be the thing that the city does is building quadrireams for me, maybe after the traders are completed. We're going to stay inside Merchant Republic. That seems like a totally reasonable thing to do. Uh, there's no reason to change our policies. And I think we'll just put a little mine right there. We got a nice five charge builder up here in Roxburgh. Uh, I think the thing to do is to gold purchase a trebuchet in this city. We can do that next turn. If I could get a little bit of cash, maybe that would be good. Just a just about can't get 800 money unless I can sell open borders. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and gold purchase a trebuchet. Trebuchets uh, do full damage against boats. And I will put some turns into ancient walls just to give the city a little bit of defense against this little invasion that's coming. This builder, I'm going to try and sneak him down to my main empire. Uh, I'm going to be holding on to my gold a little bit carefully here. Need to make sure I'm not at war with any city states. No. Okay. So yeah, we are taking some damage here, it's not the which is to be expected. Um, let's buy a, we would like to buy a quadrireme as well. So if we could get 400 gold, that would be super swell. Sell my open borders. Let's see. I need 480 gold. So what if I were to exchange like three gold per turn for raw gold? Then if I refresh the city's list, I should be able to purchase a quadrireme. And the combination of the quadrireme and the trebuchet should be enough to defend the city from any and all nonsense that could potentially uh, be wrought upon me. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send my caravels to the north to try and assist the city as well. Um, I also have a quad down here. What I really need to do is get my hands on some nitre. We will have to buy nitre most likely. All right, quadrireme, blast this quadrireme, shoot the trebuchet. We need to get rid of the trebs. I'm going to move this trader over to Edinburgh. Edinburgh is going to build its lighthouse. It's going to be excellent. Hopefully we can trade to the capital from here. Chris Walters has got a campus. It's got a harbor. We can go for the entertainment complex, which is fantastic. And we will. However, I would like to maybe get... Hmm, Let's go straight for the entertainment complex so we can start to build that up a little bit. Those amenities will be useful. We did lose, it looks like, a lot of luxury purchases. So let's build up our luxuries. We're only at seven happy cities. We're no longer hitting the ecstatic number. So we are going to need to get our luxuries, our amenities up. Uh, that's going to be part of the process going into the mid to late game is, is just making ourselves more powerful, particularly from an amenity point of view. Um, and that's going to be all related to the golf courses that we are trying to build. Okay, all right. Let's get the caravel into the city to give it a little bit more defense. We want to take out this trebuchet. Get over to here. You dodge to here. We make a dedication. Um, Hicks on Tracone seems pretty good for what we're doing right now. The extra movement is quite nice. It'll give us a plus three starting population for cities settled on a different continent, plus two movement for naval and embarked units, and plus two loyalty per turn for cities not on the capital continent. Which means these settlers that have just come out will go far. We could trade with Venice, but we don't want to. Uh, I want to trade with Philip Keel. Thank you. Um, so let me have a look. Carson Kinney to the capital. Andre, Chris Walters does not have a trade route to the capital, so I'll put a trader in there. What could we buy to assist this city? Probably a crossbowman. We don't have a crossbowman, so trebuchet is our best bet. With a, car with a garrisoned caravel, we need to get rid of this. We should totally buy another quadrireme. See what we can do. We got a caravel armada coming. Okay, I was not expecting that guy to be able to move like he did. He was able to step over the hill. I wasn't expecting him to have that much movement. So let's try to keep our units alive. Let's kill this trebuchet if we can and retreat with the builder. We have caravels nearby, which will work for us. This caravel here, I'm gonna tell us to just make its way up to there. 
This trader will trade with Philip Keel. Perfect. That'll help us continue to develop our cities. We've abandoned the city of Paddington. The city's infrastructure will still remain. If only we'd managed to get those walls up a little bit sooner. I should have taken this threat a little bit more seriously. I did not take the threat seriously, as it, as it's, as it, as it appears. Um, we will put a golf course over there. So let's go get prepared for that. Put a golf course here. That's two amenities. Okay, so Haddington was murdered. Um, but we do have enough stuff nearby to potentially take it back. So we'll see what we can do. We definitely should kill this trebuchet. The city is flipping, so we're not in a rush to retake it. Let's try to keep our stuff alive. We might get a pillage or whatever. Um, we do have Reformed Church now, so we can get our golf courses, which is that plus four error score, plus two amenities as well, which will bring us up nicely. Buy all these luxuries again, and we're up to a very ecstatic level. Nice. I do think it makes sense now for us to go for diplomatic service. This will get us access to the Chancery, which will give us plus three influence per turn. It'll also give us access to Vissel Banking, so we can start trading internationally with our allies. And we will also get the ability to construct a spy, which is a pretty big advancement. Then we're going to go ahead and head towards privateers. These privateers might be useful in the war with Mali. We can maybe pillage some coastal stuff off of him. And we're not going to change our government. We are going to trade internationally. I'm going to put a trader into Philip Keel and we'll start trading internationally from this city. All right. Settler is down south. I'm going to move the Caraval to here, move the Settler to here, conjoin them. And I want to settle this like kind of left side of this island first and then the right side of the island. We'll uh, we'll get to work on all that. Got the settler popping out of here. Boom, goes a nice golf course in Edinburgh, uh, which is another bunch of amenities. Those high amenities are working out nicely for us. Poor little uh, trebuchet got murked, which don't feel so good. Kill you. Uh, shoot the city of Haddington. Please wait, military emergency. Oh, I will totally add that proposal. Oh my God, absolutely. The settler just popped out of here. This one will go to the right side, I think. A little bit safer. We'll use a quad to guard it. Um, do we go for another settler? I think we purchase the shipyard in here and then we can go for the settler, which will take another settler off the capital's plate, um, which is perfect. Allowing my capital actually get back to other productive work. All right, I'll attack here. This will get you leveling. We can retake Haddington soon. I think trading with Zanzibar makes sense. We'll get an envoy in 16 gold per turn as well as getting suzerainty of them back. And getting suzerainty back will mean once we have Vissel Banking, we'll be way more justified in trading with city-states um, because we'll get two food, two production from those trade routes. Military emergency, I'm going to vote that up because I'm already at war with Mali. So I'm hoping that other people take up the cause. The military emergency failed because I didn't have enough Diplo favor. I did sell off a lot of my Diplo favors, so that's to be expected. We're bringing you forward. Let's see, can we get free damage on this city? It's not much in the way of damage is the thing. We could pillage for gold. We will. Be annoying. Uh, let's move you to here. You shoot the city. You take bombardment. So you do that little bit of extra damage. You're hanging out there. I mean, the city will flip back to me eventually and like flip independent to where it can be like taken. Um, and this Caraval Armada will be able to do big damage to it. So we may as well do like some damage to this city because if we can get it to flip back to us a little bit sooner, I think that's just like a win all around. There's diplomatic service. We get Machiavellianism, Vissel Banking, Chancery, and the Spy. So I think the first things first is I think we're going to drop colonial offices. It's great, don't get me wrong, but I think I prefer Vissel Banking because we're going to start trading externally. Colonization we will keep, and the rest of this I'm actually quite happy to keep. Um, why don't you go here, you shoot this guy, you go there, shoot that guy, and then you can come in and murk this city pretty hard. Uh, why don't you jump in the water to dodge? We got the entertainment complex in Chris Walters. Let's get that arena for the amenities. That's worth, that's three amenities in this city, right? And then we also need a builder. Builders should really be coming out of Carson Kinney at some point, but we're a little bit, we're a little bit busy for that. There's a quad drive room. We can send it up to begin the war. Samarkand is flipping to Scotland. We need to purchase niter. So strategic resources, niter. Oh yeah, give me that niter. Boom. So this totally will allow me to get some frigates and those frigates will make a big difference when it comes to blasting these open. I'm going to grab myself a spy in here. The spies will do work. Pop a little mine on this tile. There we go. Plus one error score as well as a nice productive tile. We're super focused on working the ocean because these ocean tiles are sick as hell, right? Two food, one production, one gold, one science, one culture and a faith. We actually have a faith income now thanks to um, that situation. And Settler, pop up there. I will unlink this Settler. It doesn't quite have the movement. That's fine. Plus one error score. We've got industrialization with my production from mines. Blast the city. Bring the Caraval in. Take the city. Make sure we're shooting this guy. Slowly whittling away on his health. Ancient walls would be 
Sweet. So we'll buy this. And if we can jump up and chop it out next turn, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, with industrialization, we do have access to coal, which is kind of an exciting moment for us. Um, maybe it would be good to get steam power for embarkation. Something to think about. We got the trade route in Edinburgh. Uh, that is a shipyard purchase for me right now. Awesome. Then we will settle this city right here. Boom. Plus one error score. In the city of Peart. We want to buy traders in here. We can't quite afford it just yet. There's Niter up here to the north. Oh, baby. That is exactly the kind of resources we were looking for. Let's build that entertainment complex. Remember, that's three amenities, which frees up a lot of amenities in the rest of my empire. We got another settler up here. This one's going to be heading over here to the left side. Um, we will need to bring a caravel back up to escort that. You jump up onto the deer for me. Thank you. And you come back to grab this settler. My capital is no longer producing settlers, which means I have time to do other things. Like, for example, um, it would be nice to maybe get the intelligence agency. I want the chancery. I really need the university, so I'm going to prioritize that. That's that's really, really good. We also actually, you know what we really need? We really, 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 really need a chancery. We need that influence points because we need to scale off of these city states. Like we need to get these city states up to level two relationship to get our science up. Um, so the city of Perth is going to drop a harbor. We'll cancel the harbor. Now it's also a four pop, so we can drop two districts right away. And in a perfect world, oh, look, there's coal here. There's something to the idea of getting a dam and a little industrial zone. Aw, huh. all right. And a little aqueduct, maybe a little uh, canal industrial. Ooh, I like, I like where this is going. What if we went like dam, canal, industrial zone? Okay. Okay, there's something cool there. Then the campus could very clearly go on this tile. And then it's a matter of like, where does the entertainment complex go? Well, if we put the entertainment complex right here, we can put the golf course right there and get a maximized culture golf course. And this is starting to look very nice, at least from the point of view of where my eyeballs are looking. And let me tell you, my eyeballs never fail me. Uh, so we will go for the Granary Monument opener and we will make sure to place the industrial zone. We want to place down all the districts that we can because um, we want to lock those prices in as soon as possible. So Granary into Monument, let the city grow. Uh, why don't you go get me those golf courses online? A lot of amenities tied up. Uh, you pop, pop back. You could become a frigate next turn. 100% frigate time. I need to buy frigates. I need to buy traders. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. But I think the big thing would be if I could li liberate Samarkand, that'd be amazing. So frigate is a go. Probably should have upgraded one of these frigates. That's fine. You go ahead and garrison that city to give it strength. You chop here to get the walls. And now it's going to be hard for them to take the city. And we could just start doing a little bit of repair work to get the city back to where it belongs. Right, boom, drop the settler. Settler is done, and not just on Twitch. Pop down the harbor. Um, oh, man, there's like such a good industrial zone, like right there with double adjacency. Um, oh, oh my God, like there's an amazing campus right there. The only thing that I'm not sure about is the entertainment complex, but we could do something like golf course there, entertainment complex here, kind of rounds out the build a little bit. You know, you know, you know. Um, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. So let's make sure we've got the harbor placed. We will place the campus too. Then first things first, I guess chop. You're going to go for the Granary Monument opener as you would expect. Your embassy is a welcome addition to our capital. Thank you so much, Ambiorix. So they captured a builder up north. I'm going to be honest with you, chopping out that wall was satisfying enough to be willing to lose a builder. There's another frigate. Um, this frigate can shoot the Malian units without reprisal. We're going to go up to level two relationship with Mitla. Boom, that'll get us 12 signs per turn in our cities. Um, and that will continue to scale up as we get more and more, um, more and more. Oh my God, I forget the word. <laughs> I forgot the word. Uh, more and more uh, cities and universities. That's what I'm talking about. We could, in theory, capture the city of Diara. It's not a terrible city. We have two frigates that can pound it and we have a very strong caravel to hit it. So we could actually just straight up come out of this war better off than we were coming into it, which is a very nice outcome for a war that I didn't want and didn't start. This trade route belongs... I guess I don't really need the internal trade route in here anymore, so I'm going to move it to Perth. And then I'm going to go ahead and buy a trader in Cullen to also do a little bit of internal trading. The internal trade route exists to try and boost these cities off the ground, right? It's it's like a little jet booster that gets them going because freshly settled cities, they have a bit of trouble going, uh, you know. But I'm loving this ar like naval archipelago Scotland that I kind of have going here. There's steam power, so my embarked units will go faster. The critical thing that I'm lacking now is probably chemistry. So let's keep pushing up the top half of the tech tree. We could go for an air-based 
domination game. I think I did one of those not too recently or not too long ago, rather. So yeah, I don't think we need any of this stuff. I mean, technically we could still build the Colosseum. Oh man, that is a, that is just a horrendously tempting thing to do to give me that option if I'd have known. Honestly, it's better than the golf course. <laughs> so I'll build it. And there's nothing else to build in the city. So why not? It's amenities and culture, which is something that Scotland usually kind of struggles with uh, because they're a science save, right? And science saves, typically they have trouble with, you know, culture. But Scotland can maintain a pretty strong culture. Our science is up to 146. We're catching up with the AI. We can, in theory, place a district. We don't want to. Instead, we're just going to spam builders out of this city because this is a really efficient builder city. Uh, we got the industrial zone in Roxburgh. Let's get the workshop. We're going to frigate blast this city a couple times. And you're... I guess I want to take the promotion on you. I'll take Helmsman. Give you that extra movement. Because you're already really strong. So you don't need to be stronger. You're going to trade with Philip Keel for the four food for production in the city of Cullen. That will really help it out. I would like to do the same in Perth. Yep, four food for production. That is, it's such a huge boost to these cities. Like, it's insane. Especially if we can get the amenities up, which we might be able to. Ye old golf course. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my amenities online properly for these for these games. 100% um, production towards buildings in the city center is fine. I wouldn't mind anything else. Also, yeah, I don't, yeah, whatever. This one's fine. Um, don't really care about the other thingies. They don't really affect me. So therefore, I don't really care. Campus boosted. That's fine. Other people will be able to catch up with me on science. We have humanism. And if I'm building any new campuses, I'll be able to build them slightly faster, which is, you know, pretty decent outcome. I think I'm going to try to buy like a horseman here see if i can recapture that that builder you're going to take the promotion of bombardment you're going to shoot the city you're going to attack the city get that little bit of xp the next turn we should be able to take diara uh, we got a spy over here i'm going to plant this spy into i'm going to use the better spying screen best better espionage screen to filter by commercial hubs i'm going to try to steal from whichever city like is generating the most money which looks like it's timbuktu so timbuktu is going to be the place where we steal from having mali in your game is honestly a benefit because you can steal money from them um, this city has nothing left it can do, so it can just like build traders, it can make caravels to help my war effort, privateers to help my war effort, all that sort of stuff. It's one of the benefits of that. So, settler heading down to the south, link that up with a quad dry room. This settler is just about to hit the place where it needs to go. It'll be able to jump up here and settle next turn, hopefully. Um, why don't you go ahead and chop that woods, that would help out some cities. You're going to wait a turn before you chop, as you should. I want this city to work on a harbor. We're going to chop out that harbor seven turns away. Awesome. And then we'll chop again. I'll work on the lighthouse in Cullen. We'll get that repair going. Uh, we got the horsemen. Let's make a frigate. Maybe we can do something with this nonsense over here. A little bit of a recapture. Awesome opportunity for us to continue to level up our boats. There you go. Plus four. XP, promotion available. Uh, we'll take the city of Diara. Boom. We will keep that city naturally because it's a, just, a, we just yoinked it, right? Uh, we'll go gr Monument Granary. And honestly, they built pretty good stuff in here. There's a campus. It's not the best campus, but it is a plus two at least. I'm going to jump you up to here. You're waiting. He wants peace. I'm going to refuse that peace just for a little bit because he does have a really juicy coastline that I could hit with my privateers. The city of Samarkand came to me. I'm going to go ahead and refuse the city because I would like it to be a independent city-state. And because it flipped to me, it inherited my defenses, which were trash, so I can immediately conquer it and then liberate it. Boom. Which should give me six full envoys into Samarkand, and I will be the only person with envoys in Samarkand, which is amazing. Uh, literally perfect outcome there on the Samarkand play. That's going to massively jump up our gold income. Uh, so the entertainment complex is completed in here. We can build the industrial zone, and we will. Uh, housing is slightly lacking in this city, but we can figure that out. Um, let's switch to the arena. I guess I'll chop out the arena. Seems fine. We'll settle the city over here. Perfect. There's Schoon. The city of Skunne. All right. I kind of wish there was like a, a radar for high adjacency districts. I mean, my brain is that radar, but still. There's a couple interesting locations. So we definitely want a golf course here. That's a good golf course. Plus two amenities and we get a chop. So let's open with a, you know, classic granary monument chop. Uh, we definitely want the harbor. Although maybe we'll chop the harbor out because the faster we get the harbor, the better. The harbor is the real king. We want to place the second district. We don't have good campus locations. I mean, I could cannibalize this campus location. If I place a campus here, it would get plus one adjacency, plus 1.5 adjacency, and then we could figure out how to get another one later. Shouldn't be, it can't be did that hard to get a little bit of extra adjacency in here. So yeah, a campus will be going there, but not yet, because I want to chop that tile to get the harbor faster. All right, let's shoot this guy. Yoink the builder. 
and my horsemen should survive this counterattack. So I think we managed to hold the city of pa Haddington like super efficiently. Literally didn't cost us anything. And I think it worked out near perfectly. Yeah, that is that. That is actually what happened there. Basically a perfect result. Okay, there's Patala Palace. We don't care about that. I do care about the potential setup for this city. And I'm kind of spotting something interesting. I could do an aqueduct to here. Ooh, aqueduct to here. What if I change this to an industrial zone? What if I change this to an entertainment complex? No, this should be a campus. That screws everything up. This has to be an entertainment complex. And this can be my industrial zone. Okay, okay. Oh, this is actually such a good campus too. Oh man. I mean, they're both equally valid campus locations, I guess. So does it really matter? This is more valid for industrial zone. So I'll put the campus out here. And then this feels like a really good use of this land. Like we're efficiently getting to where we want to go. Addington, go ahead and shoot that guy. Horseman, get over here. Uh, build a mine right there, then build that. The golf course, repair that shipyard. That's awesome. Frigates heading down. So our goal is not to kill Mali. It's to do damage to him, scare his cities, and then extract wealth from him on a GPT basis um, in a war. Which, all things considered, sounds pretty reasonable to me. We chop out the harbor in the city of Cullen. Then we can go ahead and get started on the lighthouse. We can get that extra gold, the extra food, all the beautiful parts of that, that system. Uh, we're going to go ahead and chop here to get the harbor done slightly faster. And when I say slightly faster, I mean we complete half of the harbor in a single turn. Looks like we've got another... we got Horatio Nelson. Horatio Nelson is actually one of the best... Oh, we got a problem. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted. We got a problem Caraval over here. So let's retreat this builder to the north. I will teleport Horatio Nelson to the city of Scone, city of Scone, because that's where he could be helpful. Why don't you very quickly get me a quadrireme to fill out my ranks? And you put a mine right there. We're going to need more builders down south, but I have a quadrireme here. A quadrireme might be able to take on a caravel with the correct plays and careful maneuvering. I'm going to go ahead and gold purchase a caravel in here too, to hopefully fight off this enemy caravel. Where did they even come from, this thing? I could hire a line infantry, I don't want to. Granary Monument. Honestly, I think it's harbor first always now. And we have not unlocked the aqueduct. I will go ahead and spend a turn doing that. Let's buy the industrial zone tile and place the industrial zone to lock in that cheap price. Okay. We're waiting for privateers really to do damage to this guy's economy. But yeah, if we take a look at what, you know, what's going on on his border, we can totally do, we, we can manhandle this guy for money, basically. Right, chance we completed in Philip Kyle. We are going to go ahead and get ourselves a university, finally increasing the little bit of university, the little bit of science that we're making around here. Um, Roxborough is coming along real nice. We're missing a bit of housing, but that'll come when democracy hits. I think we don't need to build up the factory and coal power plants. I think we just need to have the workshops. The workshops are fine. Um, out of curiosity, has Leonardo been recruited? Let's check. So Leonardo has not actually been recruited, so there is a chance we could get him, however slim. So I'm going to do a log industrial zone logistics and the chance that we can get Leonardo because we do have a mausoleum game and that would basically take care of our culture issues for the rest of the said game. Right, we're going to move the frigate over here and we're going to blast the city of Timbuktu. Now our goal is not to kill Timbuktu. I want to be very clear on this. Our goal is to do damage to the city to make him panic and give us better deal, uh, like war reparations. Okay, hope that's clear. Okay, where did that barb go? Okay, I don't know where the barb went. He didn't pillage anything, so I can bring this builder back down south then. We can finally get the golf course in Carson Kinney. My amenities are dipping, although it's I think it's just due to a lack of um, stuff. Nothing nothing else, really. Uh -huh. There's the golf course. Yeah, we're, we're trying to keep the happiness of our cities high, but it ain't easy. Let's chop those woods out. Um, go for the lighthouse. I want to purchase a trader in this city. Boom. I would like to trade with the capital. I want to purchase a trader in forests as well. Let's purchase. Okay, we need more trade route capacity, so we gotta wait until uh, this lighthouse is completed. Oh, actually, in Horatio Nelson City, we could just pop Horatio Nelson, instantly getting the shipyard and the lighthouse, which will totally open up the option to buy a trader in the city of Forez, meaning I have a lot of internal trade routes going. Let's use the overflow production now to get the granary and the monument in the city of Scone, because granary and monument just it lets your borders expand, lets you have more population. Remember, a granary, right? To, to think of how valuable a granary is, giving you plus one food and plus two housing, okay? A farm gives you half a point of housing, all right? A farm gives you half a point of housing. So this has the value of four farms worth of housing and a grassland farm, like the, the food yield of a grassland farm, because uh, citizen, a citizen working a three food tile, 
right, would produce you plus one food surplus. And this thing costs 65 gold. Granaries are amazing. They're amazing. They're so good. All right, we'll pop another farm down here in Edinburgh, hopefully getting up to a 10 pop limit so we can grow to that pretty quick. People super underestimate how good uh, granaries are, in my opinion. Okay, we got our spy in Timbuktu. We're going to go ahead and gain sources so that our spy operates at a higher level. We're going to continue to blast the city. Again, not out of a need to actually take the city, but rather as a way to punish our enemies. Let's drop the golf course in Haddington, keeping those amenities fresh. There's the caravel we were looking for. We'll take him on. We'll build the fishery because this city, this city is just absolutely insane. Oh yeah, let's make sure we focus on science. We're up to 152 science, which is close to Korea. We should be starting to climb out of the bottom science rank. We're currently 18 techs behind Korea. We should be able to catch up pretty quick. Um, let's golf course here. We just need to get as many amenities into our empire as possible. We will trade with Philip Keel. We do one internal trade route in these cities, and then we go to externals for gold and other productions. So the internal trade route just helps kickstart these cities. That's the goal behind them. And the kickstart... Like, food and production is hard to get, right? And so you want to get as much as you can. All right, this frigate took a little bit too much damage. So we can just retreat it to, Samar retreat it to Samarkand to heal. Uh, we can totally get privateers, and I'm just going to buy them. We have the money to do that. Let's retreat you back to here. I should totally clear out some of this stuff. He's got my frigate back. Probably drop it in Philip Keel to heal. Um, and we just keep on blasting these guys, because these guys are getting levels, right? My military is getting levels. I'm threatening his cities. I'm making him more scared. I should totally get friendships with people. Um, in particular, I think the most important thing that I get is a cultural alliance with Gaul. And then I send as many of my trade routes to Gaul as possible from my capital. Um, that's going to be a really, really key theme in the mid to late game. So this trader right here, it's going to be sent to the capital and then sent to Gaul. Uh, Caraval, completed in here. Why don't you do campus research grants for the rest of the game for me. We have finished mercantilism. We're going to grab colonialism because that's plus one production from fishing boats. And now if I do a search for my fishing boats, 21 results inside my territory, right? That's super good. 21 production across my empire for that. Very, very worth it. Okay, the city of Perth. We can place the canal that we have planned. Um, let's get the harbor. I feel like the harbor is the fundamental unit of success in my empire. Like if I can build my harbors, I, I just win. Privateers are now online. We can start pillaging. Very, very exciting. We want to trade with the Gaul. Um, particularly, we want to trade with every city that we can reach. So like Aduatuka, even though the money from this isn't amazing, the culture is fantastic. And here's the other really key thing. We're feeding culture to the Gaul, who are the current most defensive cultural civ in the game, which buys us more time to avoid Lady Six guys cultural victory. I think what I'm also going to do is buy myself a, another horseman to go explore Gallic territory so we can access more cities to trade within our capital. Fishing boat in Cullen is going to be very, very nice, increasing the capacity of the city. And that's the main goal. The main goal is to just keep boosting, improving and making our empire more efficient, more powerful, more everything, just more, 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 more. It's the thing that brings home the bacon. Blast you, blast you. I will take my frigate here to heal. We just finished a quad over here. The quad exists as a cheap rip, cheap upgrade unit. 14 turns until the city grows and then we'll be able to build the campus. Let's go ahead and build the industrial zone while we wait. We got the lighthouse in Cullen. We definitely want to buy the shipyard. Let's work on the campus. Privateer forward, pillage, a little bit of a flood, do some damage to the city. I got a horseman that I can send to the Gaul and I've got a swarm of builders slowly coming out of Carson Kenny. We could technically build another district, but we can't and we won't. Position my caravel outside my territory slightly to look and see if the AI will come for me. We'll build another fishing boat in Cullen because that will increase the food, the housing, the production, all the good things. We're going to move you up here because we want to chop out the harbour to get it done as fast as possible. The faster the harbour is finished, the faster we get those trade routes, the faster we get more culture, the faster we defend against the Mayan culture victory. Yada, 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 and so on and so forth. My poor little frigates taking a little bit of damage over here. That's okay. Mission accomplished. Um... This is some bullshit that this military emergency just got triggered when I captured a city in a defensive war. Okay, listen, it failed. That's great. Scientific theory plus one food from plantations is quite useful. I'm going to pull you back to heal here. Uh, I'm going to move you one tile up, shoot the city. Privateer is going to come up and coastally raid this 
uh, campus getting us some science. University completed in the capital. I'm not going to work the capital specialists because I think it's we're better off not. Um, we will go for the intelligence agency to get an extra spy and spy capacity. Um, it's better than the other options uh, for a number of reasons. First of all, the Grandmaster's Chapel is more for a domination game and we don't have enough of a faith economy to justify a domination game. We also just don't want to go for a domination game. Foreign Ministry is quite good, actually. Plus three diplomatic favor, leveraging city-states, costs half gold. Uh, but this is more of like a diplomatic victory game or this is more of a diplomatic victory building. It, it has some limited applications in this kind of game for generating error score, but I would prefer to just have another spy. There are ways to use it and make use of it and like get value out of it, but I just don't want to do that this game. I do think it's worth, I actually think it's worth it for us to build a factory now that I've kind of thought about it a little, little bit. Plus one great engineer point might be super poggers. Um, it looks like we skipped over Leonardo because nobody had enough great engineer points to actually unlock him before we got the industrial era unlocked, which is fine. That happens. Sometimes you miss out on great people because of the game situation. I really hate that telling ships to like rest or like heal or fortify actually like cancels their turn. It's like, I don't know if that's a bug or a design decision, but whatever it is, I'm allowed to not like it. Let's get this fishing boat over here online. So we managed to fish up the corners, or rather I said the corners, the edges of my empire. Let's chop here. We'll overflow into a lighthouse, a little mine in the city of Skun, city of Skun. Oh, there is a, um, there's a horse generating crater down here. <laughs> Let's drop ourselves a little mine right there. He's begging me for peace. He's really upset because I blasted a city and I'm blasting his other city now. Um, but there's still a ton of pillages here. Like we've got a pillage on this tile. Um, boom, we've got another pillage. We can shoot you there. Keep damaging you. You promote with the rolling barrage. This guy's practically full health again, so we can bring him to go fight again. Um, most of the scientific -y stuff that we were looking at is done over here. I don't think we need anything off the bottom tech tree. Maybe printing, but again, not necessary. Let's go to chemistry now. Straight up, go research labs, get chemistry and start pumping for the late game. Uh, you did not choose a place for your campus, did you? What if I put a campus here? It's only a plus one. It's fine. You can have this campus location. So campus placed, delete this. Um, I guess I go for the campus now? Yeah, sure. I've been really blessed this game. Um, like I've been cursed and then blessed and then blessed and then cursed. So I guess it's blurst. It's a very blurst game. I will say that this like it started out cursed as hell and then it became a little bit blessed and wholesome. And now it's kind of just like a nice, you know, not a nice little, you know, we're making progress. We're doing things. We're, you know, we're, oh, so India is up to 300 science. Korea is up to 230. That's fine. We're climbing so quickly that like a lot of these cities aren't even online, like scientifically yet. Like they haven't even started to build their campuses. Um, so that time will come a hundred percent. But I tell you what is also coming. It's the end of this episode and your mom when I'm with her. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.